While most Pixel fans are eagerly anticipating the upcoming Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, which are set to overhaul the made by Google phone series, the Android 12 beta builds that have been available for quite some time now have included some clues as to what Google phones will come after that. And we want to discuss what we could end up seeing, including a possible foldable Pixel and the presumed Pixel 6a. So with that in mind, let's go. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. When digging into the various apps included in the most recent Android 12 beta releases, we've been able to uncover a trio of unfamiliar code names, well, at least to us, and we believe them to be for Pixel hardware, as they were found alongside code names for other Pixel devices, such as Oriole, which is the code name for the Pixel 6, and Redfin, which is the code name for the Pixel 5. These new code names are Whitefin, Pippet, and Bluejay, respectively. And right off the bat, the most interesting part or usage of these code names is that the latter two are types of bird, just like the Pixel 6 series uses Raven and Oriole, while Whitefin is obviously, if you know about animals, a type of fish. And like every past Pixel codename previously, has used a fish codename. And naturally, while we're talking animals, we want to take a closer look at what each of these devices may actually be. The first code name we want to focus on is Whitefin, as it's the odd one out for being the only fish based code name. And the leading belief for why Google is changing from fishy code names to bird related ones is because of a shift from using Qualcomm Snapdragon processors to their own Google Tensor chips, known previously as Whitechapel. If that's indeed the reason, it would imply that Whitefin is a Snapdragon based device. So far, though, we found no strong evidence about Whitefin's processor, unfortunately. Generally speaking, though, Google's camera code groups together Pixel phones that come from the same batch or the same era. For example, the Pixel 4 and 4 XL are paired together, as are the Pixel 5 and the Pixel 4a 5G. The grouping of code names most recently added to the Google Camera app consists of four devices, Oriel, which is the Pixel 6, Raven, the Pixel 6 Pro, Slider, which is the internal name for hardware shared by two of the Pixel 6 models, and Whitefin. One possibility is that Whitefin is a testing device, which would in theory allow Google's engineers to test out the Pixel 6 series new cameras, or even its next generation neural core chip on Qualcomm hardware, while the Google made Tensor chip was still in the early development phases. Another possibility is that Whitefin is similar to the Needlefish codename which surfaced back in 2019, despite all signs pointing to it being a device that would eventually release alongside the Pixel 4 and 4XL, perhaps as a Pixel 4 5G version, it actually never saw the light of day. For now, that's kind of where the trail runs cold on Whitefin though, but you can trust us when we say that we'll continue tracking it to see what crops up and you'll be the first to know if or when it does. Next, we have the two bird name related codenames, Bluejay and Pippet, which we first found side by side. As we have mentioned, it's possible, though far from confirmed, that the two bird codenames point to running on Google's own Tensor hardware rather than Qualcomm Snapdragon chips. Within the Android 12 beta, there is only a single reference to Bluejay found alongside every codename that Google has used for a phone since the Pixel 3, as well as the upcoming ones like the Pixel 5a's Barbit and the Pixel 6 series of Raven and Oriole. However, there is actually one codename notably missing from the entire list, which is Passport, which, as we originally reported, was Google's internal name for an in-development Pixel foldable. Since then, Passport has even appeared in the Android 12 beta, with a Japanese model number attached to it. Conversely, though, the aforementioned Needlefish device had a model number which was never eventually released. With current rumours placing the production of a foldable Pixel beginning in October this year, it seems just a bit odd for Passport to be missing from the list we mentioned, but there may be more to the story than meets the eye. In documentation previously viewed by us here at 95 Google, there were references to Google using the codename Blueport for Android hardware. At this time, we believe that Blueport is a combination of Bluejay and Passport, following a long tradition of Google using joint codenames. For example, the Pixel 4 and 4 XL's Flame and Coral became Floral, while Pixel 5 and 4A 5G's Redfin and Bramble became Red Bull. If this theory is correct, it's possible that Bluejay might be the new codename for the upcoming Pixel Foldable, while Passport is an early development prototype 
rather than the final release product. Another possibility is that Blue Jay, or whatever it may be, and Passport, the Pixel Foldable, will be sold side by side. In either case, we can confirm that Blueport is set to run on the same Google Tensor chip as the upcoming Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Now that Google is making their own chips, it would make a great deal of sense for a foldable Pixel to showcase the hardware or that hardware on a new form factor. Unfortunately, though, we don't have quite as many clues to the purpose of Pipit. We've confirmed Pipit to be a Pixel related codename because it also appears in the Pixel series Google Camera app. Unlike Whitefin, which is bundled into a group of devices, Pipit is included as a standalone device. And this is similar to how the Pixel 3a, the 4a and 5a have all been included previously in Google Camera Code. While it's far too early to say with any sort of certainty, we believe based upon the timing of this appearance in the Android 12 beta phases, that Pipit could potentially be the codename for 2022's mid-range Pixel 6a. Once again, considering a Pipit is a bird and not actually a fish, it's plausible that this potential Pixel 6a would run on Google made Tensor chipsets. So that is about all we know about Google devices coming beyond the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. At this stage, it is really, really early, but like with every device prior, we'll likely learn a little bit more as we delve in further and learn more from app builds and OS digging. Hopefully you've learned or found some of this interesting. And if you are more excited about any of these devices, then be sure to let us know down in the comment sections below which potential Pixel you want to learn more about or you're most excited about. And be sure to head over to 9to5google.com to read more analysis and in-depth teardowns of all things Android 12 and beyond and Pixel itself. But until next time, this is Damien saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.